Hey everybody. Hey everybody, it's time for another um it's time for the first time since late 2022. It's time for the first it's time for the first review intro. This time once again, this time as the Douglas Blair Roberts actor base persona, the Super Vader 400, the brown skin human back at you with another um with another um Disney Channel television series tell Disney Channel television series and movie intro and movie intro and television series for various other um channels 2020s version this is a 2020s um remake the previous one I did ended up being way too long for the review for the first review and I'm going to be doing with this intro and that is the Disney Channel's newest show, Saturdays, which will be in, which will be that'll be the second part. That'll be the second part. And that will be the first video with this um intro. The song will be the same, Sonic's Weekend. Even though I will be wearing my um skinny jeans, even though I will be wearing my um real life superhero rock and roll working class look number two, my skinny jeans, my skinny jeans sweatsuit, sweatsuit with zipper, gloves, and shades. This will be reviewed as Douglas Blair Roberts, the actor, because as much as I badly wanted to do a superhero, make this a superhero, real life superhero review, I can't because other than a couple of co comic book and cartoon graphics, there is nothing super, there is in the, in the cool colorful outfits that they have, there is nothing super, there is nothing super, there is nothing superhero about this television um series so as such it cannot it cannot be it cannot be a real life superhero review so with that being said you don't want to hear so with, with that being said let's make my grand entrance and let's get started with Disney Channel's Saturdays the first review with this intro Disney Channel shows and television shows period in a long time and that is Disney Channel's newest show which premiered and finished which premiered in the in the summer of June 2023 and finished its first first season first run two 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 weeks ago August something 2000 August some August something of this year and that is, as you can see by the title, that is pretty freaking scary. One of the coolest Disney shows of all time. Once again, Disney hits another ball out of the park. Thumbs way up and a round of applause for Disney for once again green lighting and producing another awesome live action TV show right after, right after Saturdays, which was also um, awesome. I think Saturdays is way better is way better than this um, show. However, this show storyline-wise is much more exciting. And of of the 
through of the five shows Disney Channel has, which consists of this of the five shows this Saturday's Ravens Home, Bunk Season Seven, Bunk Season Seven, and um, and Villas of Valley View. This show has the most exciting storyline, the most exciting premise. Pretty freaking um scary. I saw, I saw trailers for this back in spring back in spring of this year and I was mixed towards it while the show looked okay the issue I have with the show is see this was another this was another um superhero except this one was more supernatural superhero supernatural um television based series but just like the villains of Valley View a comic book superhero series it also wanted to be a laugh track heavy family sitcom. Family um, sitcoms. Family sitcom which means random random acts of comedy, random acts of um, situation comedy breaking breaking out every five minutes including doing, what, doing parts that are supposed to be serious. Yeah, in my opinion, those two genres don't 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 mix. Either you're gonna be a family friendly, sit, laugh track heavy sitcom, or you're gonna be a superhero supernatural. But those two to three things all together, in my opinion, cannot mix. And if you try to add the superhero and supernatural stuff, it will make it look stupid. That's the issue I had with Villains of Valley View in season one. They've since improved in season two, but in season one. It was um terrible, but that's for the villains of Valley View review. This is pretty freaking um scary. This is the short narration intro as the Douglas Blair Roberts YouTube social media character to see the part two narration real life superhero version. The link will be in the description box below, and three and four will be the webcams for both versions. The Douglas Blair Roberts YouTube social media personality based character and the real life superhero, and five and six. Five and six will be the post will be the my post reaction and post review of the final five episodes of um pretty freaking scary. Won't be doing the others because I just don't I just don't feel like doing too many. There's way too many filler. There's way too many filler episodes. I was going to, but I kept putting it off and on. And there are way too many filler episodes, which is already the only problem I have with the show. With the show is that as awesome as this show is show is way too much way too much filler way too much filler and the show is not exciting when it's distracting from the actual plot when it's distracting from the actual plot which is the main character Frankie Rip a pr Rip, Frankie Rip her last name of her last name that's the last name of her family the Rips their names their um their na their their names a pun on rest in peace Frankie um one day while texting one day while texting is not watching where she's going. She randomly falls into a manhole and dies, and dies, and wakes up, wakes up in the um, in the um, other world. Well, because she wasn't supposed to die, she's allowed to return to the living with pretty uh, Afro-American named Pretty with the power. I think, yep, yeah, with I keep forgetting what what power he had. Pretty and um, scary. Uh, a scary, uh, um, scary, uh, um, scary, uh, super serious, emotionless, um, teenager, female teenager, Caucasian female teenager who has the power to stop time. She, um, has the power, she has the power to stop, yeah, she has the power to stop time. They're her guys in the, they're her guys in the, um, living world. And they have, and Frankie has to complete a, unknown to Frankie, she has to complete a series of tasks. For the Grim Reap for the Grim Reaper who they call GW. Or she'll be back in the um other world. And when she gets back her life is completely um her life is completely um diff different. Those are those are three of the main characters. Other main and supporting characters include Remy Rip, Frankie's brother who despite being only eleven and twelve twelve years old, he runs his own he runs his own. He runs his own business agency with a cauca a big Caucasian named Carson, being its no only known member called Sweaty, where they investigate various 
mysteries around their town and um, including the main antagonist Theodore Snickering who is the grandfather of the main character of the main character's love second uh, love second love interest second um, love interest um, El Elric Snickering Elric Snickering so like I said yeah that's the only problem I have with the show when it's focused on that plot it's awesome when it's see when it's focused on regular team school stuff it's not it's not as exciting the show is not as exciting that's my only issue that's my only issue with the show the second problem I have which is not totally a bad thing but it will be if it's not renewed and that is the season one in it on a cliffhanger I hate cliffhangers because you're not just because you do a cliffhanger you're not immediately guaranteed another season so in my opinion when it comes to shows see shows you need to wrap up the series you need to wrap up the series just in case you need to wrap up the series and see you need to resolve and wrap up everything or mostly everything in season one just in case you not won't be brought back won't be brought back I don't want this show to suffer the same fate as ultraviolet and black scorpion which I'm mixed to I'm mixed towards this show's be, being renewed and canceled. I think it'll be renewed. I definitely want to renew, but I think it'll be renewed because Disney Channel doesn't have that many shows. I looked up. I like this shows. I like this and Saturdays so much that I looked up their um I looked up their upcoming schedules and they have no upcoming live action shows. Live action shows. Live action shows. So I'm predicting. I'm predicting that this could get a season two. This could get a season two. This could get a season two. And unlike Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion, this unlike Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion, this is easier to produce since it is a live track heavy sitcom. And the and the locations are for the most part the same. The locations are for the most part the same, and there's not really much action and CGI this show could this show could possibly come back it's not like ultraviolet and black scorpion which was a big time Marvel DC cinematic universe style of cinematic extended universe style of show on Disney Channel then you got the other one um then you got a what was he oh yeah yeah so this is these are why I think this show could what you call it here here's why the show could continue here's why the show could be canceled Number one, just like Saturdays, it wasn't released to that much fanfare. Not a lot of people know about it. only three reviews, and the reviews for this are have been for the most part average, S average to mixed, average to mixed. Some people like it, some people don't. Especially people who okay, this is a this apparently is based on a book series, and it's apparently different from the book in several areas. This is my first introduction to the franchise, so I have nothing to compare it to, and this series as it is for the most part I like it the way it is then you got um then you got um what else about this awesome show what was, what was awesome? so oh yeah yeah so yeah that was that, that that's what you call it it wasn't been released and then there's some kind of writer strike guy which could spell the end of the show I really hope some stupid writer strike guy doesn't end this awesome show but those are the three re those are the reasons this show could be um could be canceled but because of the first two the first two is why the show I think the show could continue could 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 um, continue and I hope it does continue yeah so um yeah this was my review this was my short narration review intro of pretty freaking scary the lar the larger real life superhero reviews and both larger webcam reviews in the post reaction post episode reaction reviews they will be in the description box below you don't want to hear the rest of the music turn the video off right now mm -hmm.